What is up everybody, it's Sean here. So in today's video, I'll be talking about the Nike Air Yeezy 2 in the red October colorway. I'm sure most of you, if not all of you watching right now know how important the Nike Air Yeezy 2 is in terms of sneaker history. The Air Yeezy 2 was the last shoe between Kanye West and Nike before he shook the fashion world and took his talents to Adidas. And not only was this Red October pair the very last shoe that Nike and Kanye would release, but there was also a very interesting backstory behind it as well. So the original two colorways of the Air Yeezy 2, the Pure Platinums and the Solar Reds, both of those dropped in June of 2012. As the months passed by, the sneaker community was wondering, is there going to be a third Air Yeezy 2? And then as we hit 2013, those rumors really started to ramp up. We would see Kim Kardashian post teaser pictures of the Red Octobers, and then it got to the point where we actually saw the Red Octobers worn by Kanye West on Saturday Night Live. However, nothing was communicated in terms of an actual global release. So at the time in 2013, this was still a bit of a unicorn. As I mentioned earlier, Kanye West would shake the fashion world when he announced in November of 2013 that he was leaving Nike and partnering up with Adidas. He voiced some very strong opinions about his dissatisfaction with working with Nike and was looking for more royalties and more creative control which Adidas could provide. So after that, we assumed, you know, Kanye West is gone from Nike, so that means the Red October is probably never going to release. However, fast forward to Sunday, February 9th, 2014, and Nike would tweet out one of their most memorable tweets of all time. Out of nowhere on a Sunday afternoon of all times, they posted a tweet that read, the Nike Air Yeezy 2 is now available, followed by a link to purchase. I was actually just chilling at home on my computer, but at the time I didn't have Twitter notifications on. So by the time I found out about five minutes later, of course, they were all sold out. So it was definitely not the most conventional release of all time, but it was definitely really memorable and it adds to the whole allure and mystique of these Red Octobers. So this pair retailed for a price of 250 US dollars, which translates to about 350 Canadian. And although the nickname of the shoe is Red October, the actual color code of the shoe is simply red. So first off, here's a quick look at the box, and this comes in your normal red Nike sportswear box. We have this Nike logo on the very top, and then we have the label on the front, which reads Air Yeezy 2 SP, size 10 and a half, and color code red. Inside the box, of course, we have your red nylon dust bag. We have these embroidered logos on either side. We have these laces on the very top with these gold aglets. As for the shoes, so here they are. Taking a deep dive, the front half of the sneaker is constructed out of a red colored nylon. Surrounding the outer edge of the toe box, we have this dark red colored suede. And this suede covers that medial portion of the shoe, which holds the forefoot strap in place. The strap itself is done in a very flexible TPU and held down using Velcro. And on the fuzzy portion of the strap, we have these Egyptian hieroglyphics. Moving on towards the back end of the sneaker, this portion here is covered in these spiky scales, which gives it a very rough texture and a very unique look. On the lateral side only, we have a textured Nike swoosh here as well. Moving on to the back of the shoe, we have this molded heel. Again, the look of this back heel is very unique and it's immediately recognizable as an Air Yeezy 2. For the laces, these come with an oval shaped red colored lace. In the middle, we have this leather lace lock, which has the number two in Roman numerals on one side and that spiky finish that was found on the sides of the shoe on the other side. Similar to the dust bag, these also come with gold aglets, which really adds that premium touch to the shoe. Underneath the laces, we have a padded nylon tongue, and at the top, we have this logo, which has a strong Egyptian influence to it once again. Pulling out the insoles, these come with a leather lined insole, which is actually pretty thin compared to other insoles that Nike uses. They've debossed that Egyptian style logo that was found on the tongue, and this is found on the back heel of the insole. So the upper of the Air Yeezy 2 sits atop this full length foam midsole. This is entirely painted in red, and underneath the heel, we have this cutout, which exposes the Nike air cushioning found within the shoe. As I turn the shoe over to the bottom, so here we have your outsole. This is the outsole taken from the Air Tech Challenge 2, which was worn famously by tennis star Andre Agassi. We have this herringbone traction pattern that runs throughout the length of the shoe, this circular pivot point on the forefoot, and Nike branding on the medial side. So that's about all there is to it to the Nike Air Yeezy 2. This Red October pair is easily the most expensive between all three colorways. But if it was up to me, my personal favorite is probably going to be the Pure Platinums, which coincidentally is the most affordable Air Yeezy 2. It all comes down to personal preference though, there's no wrong answer. I just think that the Red October is a little bit overrated compared to how the sneaker community generally views it. To me, wearing all red sneakers is a bit of a mid-2010s trend, 
So at this point in time, the Red October is definitely much more of an art piece, much more of something that I just display, as opposed to something I would actually want to wear on feet. There's also been a lot of discussion whether Nike should retro the Air Yeezy 2, and some are suggesting to even put it on the Nike ID or Nike by You platform. While I wouldn't go that far, I think that it wouldn't be a bad idea for Nike to bring them back, but my personal recommendation is to maybe create a few new colorways as opposed to re-releasing the old colorways. To me, there's something to be said about letting the classics stay classic, and then maybe creating some new iconic colorways for sneakerheads of today to enjoy. So let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about the Nike Air Yeezy 2 Red October. Between this one, the Solar Red and the Pure Plats, which of the three is your personal favorite? And where does your opinion stand on Nike bringing back the Air Yeezy 2 silhouette? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8, check out my Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this installment of my Dare to Dream series, and until next time, I'll catch you guys all in the next one.